avoiding the Penguins. That's if Pittsburgh can get past Montreal. We're ready to drop the puck. John Forslund has the call. From Toronto, Stanley Cup qualifiers presented by Geico. Game number two, best of five. The winners of game one, the Montreal Canadiens against the Pittsburgh Penguins. Good evening, everybody. Alongside Mike Milbury, Brian Boucher is inside the glass. I'm John Forsland. Okay, guys, let's tee it up. The importance of the second game of a short series. In a five-game series, there have been 56 of them. And if you go down 2-0, you only win one out of 56 of them. That's the, that's the history of this thing. It's not very promising. So they got to get on their horses, do the Pittsburgh Penguins. And for Montreal, they got to hope that they can keeping in check with Carey Price doing his thing. All right. Well, they say it's uh, a series when you lose a game on home ice. Well, Pittsburgh was the home team in game one. They'll be the home team in game two. Uh, what I want to see from Montreal, they played a perfect game after the first 15 minutes. At that point, they settled into their game. Can they find that game once again? If they do, they'll find themselves with a stranglehold in this series. Okay, Mike, who has to pick it up for Pittsburgh? It was funny. Evgeny Melkin had eight shots on goal, John, but I just didn't think he had the same zip, the same verb that you usually see in a tremendous regular season, especially with a lot of guys being hurt for good periods of time. But Malkin just, he wasn't very good in the exhibition game either. Just didn't seem to have that jump. He needs to be productive. It's a big game. He knows how to play in big games. I think he'll be fine. And Boosh, the prime reason for Montreal's win. Carey Price, plain and simple. He was a big story coming in. Could he find a way to make his team on level par with the Pittsburgh Penguins? The answer was yes. In game one, he did it. The question will be, can he continue to do this and allow his team to catch their breath, get their legs underneath them, and make them believe that they have a chance in this series? It'll be awfully fun to watch. Let's see if he can do it in game two. Urgent conditions tonight. There's no question for the Pittsburgh Penguins, and there's nothing like the anxiety before a playoff game. Pittsburgh, Montreal, opening face-off next.